Good evening.
Hello, guys. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. You salam me one. Teacher, surprise. Hello. Hello. Thing. So you are on the fourth level. Was well, Alexander? Nice to see you again. To see you too, teacher. <laughs> Just give me a moment. Let me access here. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, I think I got it. Hello, guys. Nice to see you. Right. Hi, Alexander. Hello, Joanna, Sara. Emerson. Yanni. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. Daisy, Carol, hello. Vladimir, Jose Bernardo. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Ya llevo. Good evening. Now, I want you to please turn on your cameras. You know the drill, guys. You know what to do. All right, so please uh, turn on your camera so we can start our class today. And we can start our level four, right? This is the fourth level of English. It's just, let me download here a background. I think this is good. Da, 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 da. So how are you? Tell me. This is your first day of classes. When did you finish your previous course? Last Friday? Mm -hmm. Let me change my internet, give me a moment. Okay, there we are. Okay, tell me. Tell me a little bit about yourself before we start. Mm -hmm. How was your previous course? Let's see, Mr. Vladimir Rodriguez, what did you learn in module number three? Repeat, please. Yes. What did you learn in module number three? Okay. Uh, I remember that uh, use a uh, cool, should. Mm-hmm. Mm. Eh, how, how do you say how, como, como dar un consejo un advice okay. how to give an eh, advice ajá es, eh, also re, eh, re, request Make requests. Okay, very good. Thank you, Vladimir. What about you, Eugenia? What did you learn in the previous course? Hello, teacher. Hello. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Quiero ver. Let me see. Uh huh. Let me see, Anna. No, no, no sé cómo pronunciar la palabra. Which word? Tell me. Uh -huh. What do you want to say? Tell me in Spanish. Este... Ajá. Eh, Entendería yo que lo que me preguntó es qué es lo que yo hago. No. What did you learn in the previous course in module number three? This is module number four, right? Correct. This is module Correct. number four. So what did you learn in module number three? Te vimos en la unidad 
tres. Ajá. Vimos, no sé cómo es, could you, and, cómo decir con cortesía, preguntar las cosas con cortesía. Ok. And, uh, de verdad que aprendimos bastante diálogos en, uh, y cómo pronunciar diferentes palabras. Profesión, las diferentes profesiones eh, que pueden haber. Más o menos eso, lo que más me, me recuerdo. Ok, that's perfect. Thank you so much. And you, Alex, what did you learn? Uh -huh. eh, eh, el uso del cool and wool eh, quiero ver qué más cómo dar también una indicación o un consejo con el you should and you shouldn't ok más, eh, cómo redactar correos formales e informales cuáles eran las, los puntos que teníamos que considerar si era un correo este, formal ok y el uso del be going to be going to, I like that. So we are going to learn a lot of things in this course, right? First thing that we're going to learn is to try to give our answers in English, okay? So we're going to practice a lot. We're going to be uh, making sentences, but in speaking, right? We are going to do writing, of course, but we're going to speak. Right? I want you to speak a lot. So I know some of you already. I know Sara Diail, I know Alexander, but I don't know many of you, right? So I'm going to present myself, right? With today's class. And I will say just a few things before we continue, before we start the, the class for today. First, uh, we're going to try to speak English, okay? Because we are we start in the model four. Uh, I would say this in Spanish, so we can have that mentality starting today, right? Estamos en el nivel cuatro, right? Entonces vamos a tratar de que nuestras respuestas sean en inglés, okay? No importa si es Spanglish, usted trate de hablar inglés lo más que pueda. Entonces, porque yo le voy a preguntar. Uh, con los que ya he estado ustedes saben que no me gusta pedir voluntarios sino que yo les voy a preguntar así que estemos despiertos las dos horitas de clase tomen cafecito como yo drink coffee right so you can be awake right you can be here in the class exactly Alex you can be here in the class puede estar en la clase puede estar tomando su café cenando qué sé yo pero trate de participar y poner atención y vamos a tratar en la mayoría, en la mayor parte del tiempo, hablar en inglés, porque a eso hemos venido, right? Hablar en inglés. Escribir sí es importante, pero ya en nivel 4 ya debemos de ir armando nuestras propias ideas. Entonces vamos a ir practicando, vamos a ir hablando y así. Ahora, si algo está mal, yo se lo voy a decir. Si usted no está haciendo bien su trabajo, yo le digo, uh -uh, no, se equivocó, vuelvo a hacer. Okay, así que tenga la mente abierta para que eh, recibir el feedback, la retroalimentación eh, de todo lo que vamos a ir haciendo. Nos, si usted se equivoca, no sienta pena. Si usted no sabe, pregunte, por favor. Pregunte, pregunte, pregunte. Si tiene que preguntar tres, cuatro veces, hágalo. Pero, por favor, no se quede con la duda. Right? Eh, siempre diga, ah, la teacher no me va a responder. Sí, le voy a responder. ¿Ok? Así que pregunte. Si usted no entiende, si yo explico algo y usted no entendió, pregunte. Si usted tiene una palabra que no sabe cómo se dice, pregunte. Pero también vamos a hacer uso de diccionario. Yo le voy a mandar un link al WhatsApp para que usted abra en su dispositivo un diccionario y usted puede tenerlo abierto. ¿Right? Para que nos vayamos acostumbrando a buscar la información que necesitamos. ¿Está that clear? Yes. Yes, okay, very good. So level four, we're going to start with today's class, right? My name is Silvia, right? Um, I have been working with INSA4 for a, like a lot of time now. So I have a lot of experience working with INSA4 
in other courses. So please make sure you take advantage of me. Make sure that you take advantage of the class because that's what we're here for, right? To make sure that you speak in English. So you want to uh, get a better job, you want to move the, to, to another country, to the US to get a promotion at your job. That's why you're here, right? So we're going to start here with our class and let's begin, right? Some of the, let's say things that we need to do pretty much, right? Within INSA4, we start our class today and we need to have 80% on all of our homework and activity and activities, right? Uh, with, in the platform. You already know that, right? You already know what to do. You already know how to fulfill the platform. Now, all these homework, they are in the platform. Do you know the platform? Yes? Okay. Yes. Does everybody have access to the platform? Yes, teacher. Yes? Okay. Yes, teacher. If by any chance, somebody you know you get uh you lose your password or you uh, don't have access please let us know immediately do not wait until the last day of classes to say hi teacher uh, i didn't do the homework because i don't have the password no do it immediately right send the information so we can work with the it people and they can help us now we're going to have our first midterm Next, no, that will be within two weeks. I think it's in the middle of the week. After two weeks, I think this, this is wrong. And we are going to finish our course on October 20, 21st, I guess. October, okay. So we need to finish this. I'm, I'm very pushy. So I'm going to be telling you, uh, Emerson, finish the homework. Alexander, finish your homework. And Sarah, finish your homework so you can work every day, okay? Now, we also have things that we need to complete. You already know that you need to have your full name every time that you connect to the class. So you need to have email that's Mara Pineda Castro, Carla Eugenia Hernanda Sotelo. That's perfect, right? But if you only have, for example, Silvia Ramos, that's Mm -mm, incorrect. You need to change it. That's not for me. That's for INSA4, right? That's not for me. So you need to, I'm going to say Josara or, or Tatiana or Jose, but I need you to put your complete name, like you have it on your, on your ID, on your DUI. That's what I need here, okay? That's for INSA4 purposes. He, well, I think this doesn't apply to you because we don't have oyentes in this class. We don't have listeners. Uh, you must have your camera on. This is very, very important. This is mandatory. Put your camera on, right? And put the sound like right now. All of your microphones are off because you are not participating. I am, right? So once I say, Imelda, please give me your opinion. You open your microphone and you participate. If you are not participating actively, then put your microphone off, okay? So we're gonna put it there. Now, uh, attendance, right? 100% of the time to the classes, right? That will be 120 minutes. And we're going to take the attendance twice, which is perfect for me because I always forget. So two times at 8.20, so we still have seven minutes. And then again at 9.40 p.m., right? Always have your camera on when we call the attendance. And you need to say presente, present, I am here is the best option. And then after we finish the class, we're gonna have 101s. Those are sessions that you will have you and me, right? Uh, so we can work together. That would be today is the day for, I'll tell you who's gonna be today. Let me see. Today is 
Today I am going to have, oh Jesus, sorry for that dog, that's not my dog. Mine is here, Ocho. Give me a moment, give me a moment. Today, my goodness, we have a lot of students for beginners. Today is going to be the time for Carlos Vladimir Rodriguez Diaz. Is Carlos here? No? Present teacher. Okay. So you're going to be with me today from 10 p.m. to 10.10. 10. Then everyone else is going to be uh, logging out from the class and I'm going to stay with you only in case you have questions. Uh, okay. If you don't have questions, you can leave the spot available for someone else. Okay? Yes. So let's make sure we do that. Now, uh, any questions so far? No questions? No? Everything is clear? So we go here. Please, when we are in Zoom, this is uh, standard rules. For Zoom, we use Boton Silencio, right? We put mute. We have our camera on. So Vladimir, Sara, Daisy, Eduardo, Frank, Elena, Noé, Wendy, open your cameras. Thank you so much. Uh, we're gonna use breakup room so you can practice. And if you have questions in the breakup room, there is a button that says, ask for help, pedir ayuda, so use it. And we are adults. So we have to respect each other. That's important, right? This, it's important in this class. This is important to me. And this is important for INSA4 as well, right? So make sure that we respect each other. Now, we're gonna start with the class. Any questions? This is like the calendar that we will have. We finish on October the 18th, right? And these are the weeks that we're gonna have. Right? Four weeks of classes. Do you have any questions? No? No questions, okay. So let us start then with our class, right? We're going to start with unit one is Purchasing and storing. Purchasing and storing. Jan Jani Gutierrez, can you please repeat? Purchasing and storing. Purchases and storing. Very good. Tatiana, can you repeat? Purchasing and storing. Very good. Bernardo, please repeat. Purchasing and storing. And storing, there you are, thank you. Thank you, very good. Now, we're going to develop these four, four competencies, right? So I need you to read the first bullet. The first bullet, Emerson Ulysses, read, please. Okay, teacher. Describe mm -hmm. different effects features of our daily products that people purchase. Thank you. Second bullet, please help me out. Uh, Daisy Elizabeth, number two. Okay, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Give, give in, instruction about now some products Product. Mm -hmm. Perdón. Products have to be and no me sé esa palabra. Continue. Hand, handle and storage. Very good. Thank you so much. Alexander, go with bullet number three. Talk about how and where people can stack certain products at my workplace. Thank you. 
And let's continue with Carol. Help me out, Carol, with the last one. Ay, yo no te di a vos. It's me. Mm -hmm. And give information about ones or other shipments. Shipments. Very good. Very good. Now, when you are reading, right? When you are reading, I am not going to stop you. Okay. You will continue. Keep reading. Keep reading. Keep reading. This is to create fluency. Right? Imagine that if you're reading or if you're making a presentation and say, stop, right? Imagínense que están presentando y cada vez que se equivocan yo les diga, no, así no es, no, así no es, no, se van a hacer tartamudos. Right? And I don't want that, right? I want you to be fluent. So every time that you don't know a word in English, you say, how do I say this? Abigail, Abigail, Ab no sé, you read it. Ok, usted léala como usted crea que se dice, luego la vamos a corregir. Ok, si usted no sabe, usted continúe, no se detenga, porque si no, okay, usted okay. solito no se va a crear fluidez. Y eso lo queremos también en inglés. No solamente queremos escribir bien, queremos hablar bien. Para eso necesitamos ser fluidos. Si cada vez que usted habla yo lo corrijo, entonces uh -uh, no lo vamos a lograr. Y si usted se va a frustrar y va a dejar el curso, yo no voy a tener trabajo, yo no lo voy a poder comprar comida a mis perritos, entonces no. Right? ¿Ya ven todo lo que van a provocar? So, no, let's do it like that. So we're going to do some words that we're going to check right now. Right? We're going to have describe. Repeat, Daisy, describe. Daisy Recinos? No, you're on mute. Microphone. Okay. Imelda, repeat. Describe. 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 Handle. Handle. Very good. I want you to repeat this with me, Alexander. Talk. 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 Very good. And I want you to help me with shipments. Alexander, shipments. Shipments. Very good. Eduardo Franco, please repeat. Describe, handle, talk, shipments. Describe, talk, shipments. And handle. Handle. There you are, perfect, thank you so much. So these are our competencies for this course, right? We're going to start talking about something. I want you to look at this picture right now, right? In this picture, what can you see there? How do you call that? How do you call this? What is this? Umbrella. It's an umbrella, exactly. There you are. This is an umbrella. Perfect, perfect. Now, the umbrella is the same, right? This is one, it's the same. But here we have two things that we're going to describe. Features and benefits. Features and benefits. Now we have some features here, right? Features. Unbreakable design, waterproof material, rear good handle. Okay. Benefits, protects from harmful sun rays, blocks out raindrops, of course, right? So, do you see the difference between features and benefits? Yes? Okay. Very good. So tell me, what is the feature? My goodness, I haven't finished this book. Let me put it here. What is the feature of this book? I have this book here. I haven't read it yet, just a few pages. What are the features of this book? Can you mind some of them? Features, not benefits, features. 
Mm -hmm. Pictures, remember, those are the like the physical characteristics of something, right? So what are some pictures of it? Is it big? Is it medium? Is it small? It has page. Okay, it has pages. Okay, so the pages, what are made of? Are they made from wood, from iron? What are they made of? Are they made from, I don't know, food? No, not right. How the do you call the materials? The cover is hard. Paper. Paper. Okay, very good. This is made of paper, exactly. Right, so it has pages, right? A lot of pages, right? We're made of paper. Very good. Uh, what do you say, Vladimir? The cover is hard. The cover is hard, kind of, yes, it's cardboard, right? It's cardboard, so it's kind of, kind of hard, yes, right? What else? It's color gray. The color is, is yeah, green, yes, it's green with gray. It has gray and green. Very good. What else? Yes, Wendy? It's a small. It's a small. It's a small. Yeah. My hands are small, so yes, it's a small. It's a very small book. Very good. So I want you to think about a product from your company, right? Where do you work? For example, in my case, I work at English Corporativo, right? So one of the tools or things that we use, right? for working is a laptop, for example, right? So I can tell you the features of my laptop is a Core i3 Intel is black. No, it's like, it's like blue. I think it's blue. Yes, it's blue, kind of blue, bluish, right? It's, uh, what else? It has a camera, of course. Another feature is that it's made of like, it's not iron, I think it's plastic. My laptop is made of plastic. And it's, um, the screen is a touch screen. So it's good, it's very convenient, right? And it's all, now it has like three years, so it's all. So, those are the descriptions of my laptop. I use my laptop for work. What do you use for work? Or what do, what can you see in your companies that you use for work? For example, I think Alexander is still at work, right? So what is what, what is around Alexander that you can see in your workplace that you can describe that you use for work? The printer, for example. The printer, okay, very good. What are some of the features that a printer has? It's black, it's made of plastic. Mm -hmm. um, it needs, uh, needs paper. In its paper, okay, very good. In its paper, excellent. Very good, Alexander. Okay, let me see. What about you, Oscar Noé? What are some of the things that you use for your work? I work, I have desk. Okay. The color is brown. Mm -hmm. And I have a telephone. Okay. And what what is what are the features of the telephone? And it's black and plastic. And it's black and it's made made from plastic okay yes and i have a print okay a printer a printer yes a printer okay very good what is the printer like um i don't know <laughs> <laughs> okay it's okay we're just starting now let me make a pause right now we're gonna stop for a moment we're gonna stop just for a moment 
I'm gonna call the attendance. Ya ven que se me olvida la asistencia. I'm gonna start right now, miércoles 21, right? I have Carlos Vladimir Rodriguez Diaz. Present. Daisy Elizabeth Recinos Álvarez. No, okay. Eduardo Francisco Núñez. <coughs> Franco, present. Eduardo Franco Núñez, perdón. Elena Guadalupe Traez Reyes. Daisy present, present teacher. Okay. Elena Guadalupe Andrade Reyes. Present. Emerson Ulises Monroy Calix. Present teacher. Francisco Sánchez López. Present Miss. Imelda Xiomara Pineda Castro. I am here teacher. Jacqueline Vanessa Parrilla García. Jacqueline. Joana Lisbeth Eunice Alfaro de Canales. Me teacher. Jose Alexander Hernández Carvajal. Present teacher. Jose Bernardo López Montes. Present teacher. Carla Eugenia Hernández Sotelo. Present teacher. Carol Elizabeth Escalante Enríquez. Present miss. Luis Javier Castillo. Manuel Alfredo, ben Manuel Alfredo Hernández Ventura. Oscar Noé Magaña Martínez. Present teacher. Sara Vigaí López Portillo. Present teacher. Oscar, eh, perdón. Tatiana Ivonne Torres de Beltrán. I am here, teacher. Wendy Marlene Martínez Sánchez. Present. Yanira del Carmen Gutiérrez. Present teacher. Okay, perfect. Me hizo falta alguien. No. Pero que estamos acá. No. Okay, perfect. So let us continue then. So we were talking about features, right? So we're gonna start talking about some words. I will show you some pictures, okay? So we can start understanding the vocabulary that we are going to use in our class, right? And that we're going to use in our book. Remember the book was sent to your WhatsApp. So you can download it from there. You can print it if you want to or not, as you wish. And you can see it also in the platform, right? So we're gonna start here with this. Let me show you. Right. We have the first here. We're gonna talk about size, right? Size. Look at the picture there, right? Here in the size, right? What can you see? What are we talking about when we say size? Right? We have a shoe, right? For example, my size of shoe, it's 4.5. Can you believe that? Uh, I have the size of a toddler. So do you, do you understand what size is? For example, here, I'm gonna show you one of my shoes. This is a shoe that I have, right? This is mine, right? It's not clean, sorry, it's not, right? So this shoe is size five, five? No, four, it's size four because I'm very short, right? So this is four. What is the size of your shoes, Carla Eugenia? This is four. And it's an old shoe. Seven. Seven, okay, very yeah. good. And Tatiana? My size is six. Six, okay, very good. You can lend me your shoes. So do you understand what is the meaning of size? Yes, okay, very good. There we are. Now we're gonna continue here with weight, weight. Wave, listen, wave. Now, for example, for wave, you can see there, right, in the picture, look at the picture, always look at the picture, right? These fruits and vegetables, they have some wave, right? For example, this shoe, the wave is very light, right? This is not 
This is like two ounces, I guess. This doesn't have much weight, but for example, if I show you this, what is the weight of this? This is not much either. This is one of my kettlebells, right? Five. Five. It's five, five pounds, two. right? It's five. five pounds. I can use it to, to do some workout, right? Five pounds, weight, right? Do you understand what is weight? Yes? This is the weight. Yes. Right? Now, that's why people, you know, people who go to the gym, they say, I'm going to do some weight. So they do that. Right? So it can be used also as a verb. Now, we also have this, fries. Fries. Oh, my God. I hate, I hate to say this. But many things, they have a low price or a high price. What is the price of your glasses, Eduardo? What is the price of your glasses? Uh, I don't remember. Uh, you don't remember? Ten dollars. Ten dollars. Oh, my yeah. God, from Dollar City. Yeah. <laughs> I saw some from Dollar City for ten dollars. Okay. What about you? Let me see here. Dun, dun, dun. What is the price? If you always know this. Don't tell me you don't know. What is the price, Jenny, of your headsets? What is the price of your headsets? Mm -hmm. It's the 20, 25 price. $25. Wow, that's good price. Very good. Yes. That's Price, right? Price. Price. And then we have dimension. Dimension. No dimension, no. Dimension. So with the dimension, we have depth, length, width, right? So for example, my the dimensions of my desk, right? The depth is like one meter. Yes, it's like a meter, one meter. And the length of my desk is like two meters. This is big. It's two meters. And the depth is one. This is a big desk, actually, right? So do you have a desk in your house that is with big dimensions? No? Do you understand what, what dimension is? Yes? No? Tatiana, what is dimension? One point five. Uh -huh. uh, um, left um, three point two. Three point two. Okay, that's big. <laughs> that's big. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Tatiana. Now we go here also with this. Look at this. Battery life. Hmm. For example, this cell phone, right? When it was, oof, it was new last year, the battery life was very good. Now it's not good. It's always connected. So sad, it looks like a telephone from a house, right? Now the battery life is poor battery life. But when it's new, you have good battery life. Emerson, does your cell phone have good battery life or bad battery life? Battery life. Good or bad? Good. Good. This is nice. a good. It's not an iPhone then, right? iPhones are very bad with battery yes. life, right? Now, do you understand battery life? Do you understand this? Yes? yes. Okay. Yes. Now we go here. Yes, teacher. Okay. <laughs> and we go with this, storage. Storage. 
A storage can be used like this, like a warehouse where you put things. This is a warehouse and you have a lot of a place to store things. So it's a storage, right? Or for example, in the computer, right? In the computer, you have a storage too. In the cell phone, in a cell phone, let me check. Let me check my cell phone. We're gonna look for a storage. Okay. So when you look for a storage, right? It will give you here, right? What is the space that you can use for photos, for videos? So look at the storage of my phone, right? It's not much, right? I have a lot of storage in my phone. Do you have a lot of storage on your phone, Jose Bernardo? Not I sure. have ooh, 128 gigabytes. That's good, I guess. Right? Uh, for me, that's not enough. That's not enough. <gasps> How much do you need? Mm, the double. The double, 256? Yep. Oh my goodness. That's what I have on my computer. No, my computer, I think I have a terabyte. I think. I'm not sure. Right now, I just have a, a five gigabytes, I think, because I erased. Uh, Videos. All your photos, all your classes. <laughs> okay, very good, Fernando. Bernardo, sorry. So do you understand what a storage is? Is it clear? A storage. Do you understand or no? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes? Yes. Okay, let us continue. Yes. We also have here, Right, function, function. This is, the function is not a physical characteristic. The function is what the object or the product or the article does. What is the performance? For example, what is the function of the, of the stop? What do you use it for? What do you, what do you use the stop for, Imelda? Do you use it? Do you use a stuff to watch TV? Do you use the stuff to clean the house? What do you use the stuff for? Yes, Wendy? Uh, for cooking. To cook. Cooking. Exactly. To cook. Very good. You use the stuff for cooking, right? For cooking eggs, for cooking rice, anything, right? What do you use the cell phones for? What do you use them for? What is the function of the cell phone? To call. To call, exactly. To make phone calls, right? To send yeah. text messages. Right? To Communication. connect to the class. <laughs> right? Yes? Communication. For communication. Very good. For communication. What about the coffee pot? What do you use the coffee pot for? Or coffee maker? Is this cooking coffee? To make coffee. Exactly. Make coffee. Yay, to make coffee. So remember, function is what it does, what the product does. The, the abilities that you can, or the things that you can do with it. So now we're gonna have one more, and this is warranty, warranty. So look at this, it says, uh, Alexander, can you read this? Okay, protect your television with on Citego's extended warranty plans. Covers malfunction and breakdowns, repair or replacement warranty, 
and free pick and drop service. Okay, very good. So this is a warranty. For example, my cell phone doesn't have a warranty because I bought it in Facebook Marketplace. So it doesn't have a warranty. But if you go to Tigo or to Claro or to Digicel and you buy a new cell phone, it's going to have a warranty, usually for one year, right? Or if you go to Walmart, right? And you buy a TV, they will have a warranty. So it means if something is bad with the TV, you can go back to Walmart and say, okay, look, this TV, it's bad. Change it, give me another TV, right? Do you understand warranty? Or paying in extra, in pay extra. For extended warranty. Or, or warranty. Sometimes it, or, I don't. Or, or seguro, seguro, seguro. Exactly. Extra. That's a warranty, exactly. That's how we call warranties in Spanish, seguros, right? But yes, you can use it like that. Very good. Thank Very you. Good job. Now, we're going to go back right now and we're going to go to the book. I want you to go to the book, open up your book to page number nine, go to page nine, right? And we are going to match this right here. Can you see my computer? Can you see the book? Okay, now, Joanna Lisbeth, can you read the words for me? Read one, two, three, four. Emerson, read five, six, seven, eight, okay? Only okay. this. Okay. Joanna? Okay, size, uh, weight, price, dimension, dimension. Dimensions. Dimension. Okay. Excellent. Go, Emerson. Okay. Battery life, storage, function, warranty. Warranty. Very good. So what are we going to do? We're going to match. We're going to connect the vocabulary that Joanna and Emerson read with the definitions. Okay? That's what we're going to do right now. And we're going to do it individually to see if you pay the attention to me, right? Let's do it individually. We're going to do here. So we go, we use our book, where is my pen? Okay. So let's say here we have size, right? Size. What is the definition of size? Measurements or proportions of some kind a promise to repair, replace something within a period of time, a measure of battery performance and longevity, a thing's overall dimension or magnitude, the space available for retention of something, a body's relative mass or the quantity contained by something, the amount of money required or pay for something, and practical use or purpose in design. So what you're gonna do is to match, right? Connect them. I don't know what is the answer. You're going to tell me right now, right? So let's do it. Are you ready? Yes? Yes. Yes, yes I already. Yes. Okay, very good. Let's do it individually. One by one, let's do it individually. Let's do it. We can do it. You have two minutes. At 8.51, we finish. In the meantime, I will send you the link for the dictionary. Everyone is on WhatsApp, right? On the WhatsApp group, yes?
Did you finish? Yes. Yes. Okay, Vladimir finished. What about the others? Finished teacher. Perfect, Carla. Finished teacher. Very good. We're gonna check in a moment. Finish. Excellent. I am going to, I'm sending right now some links to your WhatsApp for vocabulary. I need you to practice vocabulary as much as you can. Okay. My goodness. Finish. Okay, perfect. I sent you right now just two dictionaries that you can download PDF in one link so you can access to it. And one that is English or Spanish, just in case. Okay. Now we're gonna see right now the answers. Now, what is what is a size? Carla Eugenia, what do you have for size? Size. Read the definition, please. <coughs> size. Carla? Perdón, perdón, no había activado. A, a, a very relative mass or the quality containing be sometime? Contained by something. So that would be number one here. Size. Okay. I'm just going to leave it like this. All right. And then you tell me if it's correct or not. Size. Uh, let's see. Oscar Noé, wait. Oh, wait. Yo había puesto esa donde he puesto la número uno, teacher. Okay. Number two, here? Yes. Here? Yes. Okay. Uh, Vladimir, price. Vladimir Rodríguez, price. Vladimir. Vladimir, aquí. Open your microphone. Don't be shy. No? No microphone? Okay, Sipote, let's see. Imelda Xiomara, price. Imelda Xiomara Pineda Castro. Price. Hey. The amount of money rec eh, sería la G. Okay, read. 
the amount of money Read, please. Léalo. No importa si se nota. Léalo. The, the, um, the monk of money required or pay for some time. Very good. Thank you so much. Right. Eduardo, dimensions. This is a measurement of proportion or something. Okay. Teacher, I have a problem with my internet. Okay. <laughs> Are you here I'm now? I'm ready. I'm okay. ready. What? Okay. Now, let's see. Joanna Lisbeth. Battery life. And bodily life is um a measure of of bodily performance and long long habit. Very good. Excellent. Thank you, Alexander. Storage. Storage. The space available for rotations of something. Very well. Bernardo, function. Practical use or purpose in design. Very good. Let's see, Johnny, warranty. Is um uh, a prince did to re repair, replace something, a uh, feeding a period of time. Very good. Thank you so much. So we have this is left. A thing's overall dimension or magnitude. What do you think is that? Is it Five. number one or number two? Number one. Number one? Yes, number one. Okay. We're going to put it here. And we're going to leave it this. Do you guys agree with the answers? Is this correct? What do you think? Is this correct or incorrect? Do you have the same? Correct. It is correct. We just leave it like this. Very good. Good job, excellent. Now we're gonna check some words, okay? I need you to, we're not gonna check everything, but we're gonna check this. Okay, please listen to me, okay? Listen to me. We're gonna go here and I need you, Franco, help me out, please. Repeat after me with these words. Measurements. Measurements. Promise. Promise. Longevity. Longevity. Dimension. 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 Available. Available. Contain. Contain. Require. 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 Very good. Thank you so much. Excellent. Thank you, Imelda, for repeating, and thank you also the ones that were repeating. That's the purpose, okay? I'm going to ask one person to repeat with me, and the others should be repeating, okay? Le voy a pedir a una persona que me ayude a repetir, a uno de ustedes, cualquiera. El que primero te vea, right? Todos los demás deben estar repitiendo porque son palabras difíciles, right? No se vayan a estar durmiendo. So, repitan las palabras porque no, no es a esa persona la, que, la única que tiene problemas, somos todos. Porque son palabras difíciles. Entonces, hay que repetirlo. Con micrófono apagado, si no, no vamos a escuchar como que estamos en plena oración. 
right? So let's do that, guys. Thank you so much. So questions about this exercise? Is it clear or do you have questions? Clear? Clear. Just clear. clear. Okay. Very well then. Now we're gonna go right now back to the PowerPoint, right? We're back to the PowerPoint. And we are going to learn about nouns. What are nouns? Do you know what nouns are? Nouns? No? What are nouns? Alexander, do you know what nouns are? Yes, but I, I can't describe it. Okay. So tell us. Tell us what do you know? About nouns. Things. Things. Okay. Very good. Nouns are things. Very good. Nouns are things. Nouns are people. Nouns are animals. Nouns are places. Nouns are everything. Everything that we can name, that's a noun. Pen, oil, coffee, cell phone, mouse. Those are nouns, right? Cars, book nouns right oh my house house now students nouns everything that you can name it's a noun right so today we're going to learn that we have two type of nouns we have nouns that are countable and nouns that are uncountable countables uncountables right and how so we're going to start with this uh, let's see elizabeth they see elizabeth please help me out and read this slide countable nouns countable nouns countable nouns refer to things that can be them. They have singular and plural forms. Example, one apple, four apples. Okay, very good. So we have there, right? One apple, four apples. Very good, Daisy, thank you. Right now, we're gonna go here. What are countable nouns? So countable nouns, they can be singular. One notebook, one singular, one, one notebook, a notebook, a notebook, one notebook, or they can be plurals, right? When we say plural, oh my goodness, it's all. Two notebooks. Right? I like to go to Dollar City, as you can see, right? Two notebooks, two notebooks, plural, singular, plural, singular, one, plural, more than one, right? So we can say two notebooks, some notebooks, right? Some, more than one, we don't have a specific Characteristics. So let me show you more examples. I have more examples for you, right? Like we say, countable nouns are things I can count, things that you can count. We have three oranges, two oranges, right? Orange, it's singular. Oranges, plural, right? Now, we're going to see here, right? Look at this, right? This is something, I know this is from module one and module two, right? But we need to say it too. 
So remember, we have singular, one, plural, more than one, right? Now, when it's singular, we can use a, for example, a book, a book, one book. A means one, right? But when we have more than one, we say books, right? Books, more than one. We don't say a ah, books, uh-uh, big no, no. Mm -mm. We say books. You can see here, a potato, potatoes. If you say here, teacher, I have a ah, potatoes. Mm -mm. Because a, ah, it's for singulars, not for plurals. Is that clear? Okay, yes? thank you. Okay. It's clear. Yes, Jenny? What's your question? Uh, yes, teacher, uh, um, the question is, uh, in the case of the potatoes, uh, se podría decir dos, dos papas? Y, o sea, siempre sería two potatoes. Siempre exactly. con, agregando las. Okay. Two? okay. We can say, there we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven potatoes. Okay. Seven potatoes. Okay. Right? Thank you. We can say it's clear. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Then here we have the quantity. But if you don't know the quantity, like say, how many? I can see how many we can say, ah, some potatoes. Some. We don't know the exact amount. Right? Now, there you go. Say some, or we can say seven, whatever you want to say, right? Now, thank you, Yanni, for your question. We go here with next, right? What countable nouns can you think of? In the chat, in the chat, use the chat. Write at least three countable nouns. I'm going to start. I'm going to put here, teacher. Oh, highlighter. Da, dun, 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 dun. Headsets. Headsets. Right? Pen. Very good, Wendy. Pen. What's another, another countable noun? Put it in the chat. I want to see 18 answers, 18 examples, one for each. Cell phone, very good, Bernardo. In plural, what is the plural of cell phone, Bernardo? What's the plural? Cell phones, exactly. There you are. Your examples? Imelda, Carla, Yvonne, Daisy, Gianni, Alexander, your examples? Wendy, Eduardo? Ele no, Wendy already put one example. Thank you, Wendy. Noe, Francisco, Vladimir, Emerson, onion, onions, dog, dogs, calculator, calculators. Very good, Alexander. Tatiana, cucumbers. I love cucumbers. They're good for salad. Thank you, Joanna. Carol, Vladimir, Oscar, Eduardo. What are your examples? Calculator. No, that's repeated. Another one. Ese lo pusieron. Animals. Very good. Box, boxes, house, houses. Computer, computers, very good, Tatiana. Cars, oh yes. Keyboard, keyboards, excellent, Bernardo. Fish, fish, oh, that's a tricky one, good. Chair, desk, very well. Supermarket, hospital, right? School, coin, coins. Book, books, now, that's too easy, Eduardo, that's too easy. Another one, another one, that's too easy. Mm -hmm. Fruit and vegetable, very good, Emerson. Lie, lies, mm, I have a lie. Don't tell me more lie. Yeah, that's good, that's good, Eduardo. Pencil, pencils, very good, Johnny. Backpack, 
backpacks, backpack, backpack, yeah. House, let's repeat it, boats, yes. Coffee, coffees, ah, that's uncountable, Johnny. Coffee is uncountable, right? That's uncountable. Okay, so we're gonna put here uncountable. Coffee. Jacket, jackets, cup, cups. Good. Very good. Okay, so those are very good examples. I have more examples for you, so we can check them out. Towel, towels, ring, rings. Very good. Let me see if you can see this. We have this, right? We have book, books. Now, can you help me read the words, Carla Eugenia? Books, repeat. Books. Books. Continue. Books. Dog, dog. Dogs, very good. Bananas. Bananas, very good. Students. Students, excellent. Pencils. Pencils, very good. Pencils. Excellent. Pencils. Pencils. And Pencils. then we have uncountable nouns, right? So what are the uncountable nouns? Pretty much this. Bernardo, can you read? Thank you, Eugenia. Bernardo, can you read this slide, please? Bernardo? Yes, teacher. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Countable nouns. Countable nouns refer to things that can't be counted. Example, paint. Paint. Example, coffee. Paint. Example, oil. Right? Example, air. Sure. You cannot count it, right? Hair. You cannot count the air, right? You cannot count the air or the hair, right? You cannot count it, right? Sugar, rice. Sugar. Exactly, sugar, rice. Very good, Elizabeth, write it in the chat. Put there uncountable nouns, we're gonna put there. Water and orange juice, that's uncountable, very good. Uncountable nouns. Teacher, ¿cómo sería arena? Sand. Sand. Very good, Joanna. Rice. Those are uncountable nouns. Look, we have this. Oscar Noé, can you please read my examples? Right? I have examples here. Bread. Okay. Bread. Teacher. But yo cuento el pan porque me dan cinco por la cola, right? No. In English, we do not count the bread, right? It's uncomfortable. Continue, Noé. Water. Water. Rice. Rice, very good. Money. Money. Teacher, pero como no más contar el dinero si se cuenta un dólar, tres dólares. Yes, you count the word dollar. Dollar, one dollar, two dollars, three dollars. But the word money, you can account it. You cannot say one money, two monies. No, mm -mm. you say one dollar, two dollars. I have a lot of money. I don't have money, right? Continue, uh, uh, Oscar. We love to read books. Okay. What is the noun? It's countable. It's countable? Okay. And what is the noun? It's books, right? Books. Yes. books, exactly. And yes, right? Books is the is the noun and it's countable. So we're gonna do this right now, right? Before we do that, let's see the nouns that we have in the chat. We have rice, 
sand, salt, water, milk. Wendy put their flour, yes. Tea, uh -huh. soda, cream, so uh, soup. Excellent, Alexander. Very good, those are good examples. What about the others? Put your examples there in the chat. I want to see them. One example for uncountables before we continue. Honey, juice, exactly, Carol, Carla, very good. Another one? Did you know that the feelings, sugar, very good, pages, mm, pages, no, Tatiana, because we have one page, one page, two pages, right? Oil, milk, sun, meat, flour. You're repeating, let's not repeating though. Don't copy yourself, choose other words. Did you know that the feelings, our emotions are also nouns? For example, I can say the noun love, you know love? That's an uncountable noun. You cannot measure love, you cannot count. Oh, I have one love for you, no. Right. Love is uncountable, hey. Right? That's uncountable. What's another uncountable now? That is a feeling. Our, no. Our is a object pronoun. Time, very good. Time, yes. The word time. Happiness, exactly, Bernardo, happiness. Very good, I see one hand. Give me a moment, can I, who, who raised their hand? Give me a moment. Jenny, Jenny, did you raise your hand? No? Who was who was here raising their hand? Okay, so let's see. Space, very good. Annoy, annoyed is an adjective. Annoyed is an adjective. Ah, I'm annoyed right now. Don't talk to me. Annoy is an adjective. And we're talking about feelings, not characteristics. Knowledge. Knowledge. That's a noun, right? Oh, Joanna has a lot of knowledge about, what do you do, Joanna? What is your job? I am a teacher, what do you do? I am, um business management okay so she has a lot of knowledge about business management she has a lot of knowledge about business i have a lot of knowledge about english right knowledge things that we know right how do you say ganas depends it depends <laughs> we say ganas but what do you mean El partido politico? no no, de querer, ganas. I want. I, I want pupusas. I want pupusas. Pero como no tiene ganas. I don't want pupusas. <laughs> But it depends, because if you just say ganas, the thing is that English and Spanish are different. They are not the same. That's why we don't translate, because ganas, it means a lot of things. For example, if you say, uh, no tengo ganas de trabajar, right? For example, or no tengo ganas de estudiar. You say, I don't want to study. To so use the verb want, which means querer, right? But you translate it me. to Dora. Mm -hmm. Right? Very good. Now, we're going to go here with the next activity. I need you to pay attention to this. We're going to start with, we started with Noé here. He gave a good answer. Thank you, Noé. 
We continue with Tatiana. Tatiana, look at this word. Please no. pass the salt. Is a um, 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 contact, um, contact, que no se puede contar, perdón. Uncountable. Repeat. Uncountable. Very good. Uncountable. Please pass the song. Uncountable. Very good. Thank you so much. Sarai or Sara Abigail, we need some chairs. Uncountable. Uh, okay. Uncountable. Very good. Very good. Franco, can you read these two examples? Yes. There is a mango. I have an egg. An egg. Okay, very good. Now, we have one word there, a and an, right? You already know this is from level two. Nivel dos, I guess, right? This is level two. In level two, we learned that we can use a or an to mean one. There is one mango. I have one egg. There is a mango. I have an egg. So a, one, an, one, right? But we have like different ways of expressing this, right? Remember, we're going to use a or an for singular countables, right? A mouse, a cell phone, a banana. What else? Carol, give me another singular countable. Uh, is a singular uh -huh. An example. Give me an example. An example is a tree. A tree. Very good. Tree. A tree. tree. Okay, very good. Bernardo, give me an example. Um, aquarium. An aquarium. An aquarium, very good. Johnny, an example. A uh, coffee cup. A uh, coffee cup, very good. We are counting this. This is what we're counting. Not the coffee, the cup, right? Very good, Johnny. A uh, coffee cup, it could be a chocolate cup, a milk cup, but we're counting the cup, not the liquid. Very good, excellent, excellent job. Now, look at this other word, some. Uh, can you please read these two examples? Uh, let me see here. Emerson Ulises, read the two examples. There are some apples. I have some eggs. Some eggs, very good. So there are some apples. This is for plural countables. If we don't know the number, right? We don't know the number. You can say, there is a marker, right? There is a marker. Ah, there are some markers. I don't know how many, I don't want to count. Some markers. Do you know how many? No, right? You, do you know the, the exact number of markers that I have? No, right? You just want to mention some, right? And an exact quantity, right? So that would be plural countable. Can you give me examples of plural countables using some? Some cell phones, some computers, 
Eduardo, can you give me one example? Uh, some, some bananas. Some bananas, yes. For a smoothie, right? For a milkshake. Some bananas, very good. Uh, Noe, can you give me some examples of using some? Uh, we are students. We are, okay. I have some students in this class. Oh, okay. Some, some students. students. Yes. Right. Elena, so give me give me some examples, Elena. Elena Guadalupe. Um, there are some people. Some people. Very good. Some people. Vladimir, an example. I have some cars. Oh, nice. You have money. Very good. <laughs> some cars. Very good. There you are. So we have there singular and plurals. Now, we can also use some. Pay attention. We can use some for uncountable nouns, right? Also for uncountable. Tatiana, could you please read the two examples? There is some sugar. He has some bread. Very good. Sugar and bread are uncountable. So I can say, oh, Alexander has some knowledge on accounting, right? On accounting. Oh, eh, Eugenia has some juice in the refrigerator. Some juice, right? Then we can use some for countables and uncountables. So make sure that you remember this, right? This is very important. Is this part clear? Do you have questions? Questions? No question. No questions. Clear. Very good. Okay, let's continue, right? Let's continue right now and we see this example, right? Look at this. Johnny. What is the best option here? I have a and some. There is banana in the recipe. What is the answer? There is a banana in this recipe. Okay. Let's see. Very good. It's a singular countable noun. Very well. Imelda. Next. There is a, an ice cream in the freezer. Okay. There is an ice cream in the fridge. Okay. Ice cream. Can you count the ice cream? Ice cream. Okay. Let's take a look at this. Some ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream. Okay. So write it down. Write it down, right? Ice cream is uncountable. Teacher, pero las bolitas se cuentan. Yes, las bolitas. Balls of ice cream. But the word ice cream is uncountable, right? So write it down. Let's continue with, yes, Wendy? Eh, solo una consulta. Si estamos hablando que hay algunos algunas eh, ¿cómo lo parece? helados pero there is es singular yes y estamos hablando de varios no in this case no. remember that when you have uncountable nouns uncountable is always singular 
Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Good question. Huh? It's a group. It's for a group. This um exactly very good. It's kind of it's kind of like a group. It's kind of like a group, right? But if we if we try to translate it to Spanish, thank you, Wendy. Very good job, right? If we try to translate it to Spanish, we it will say ah tenemos algunos sorbetes o algún sorbete, right? But the thing is that uncountable nouns it is always treated as singular, always. So we're gonna say there is. We cannot say there are some ice cream in the fridge. Mm -mm. Because if we say there are, there are is for countables, right? And we cannot count ice cream. So very good, excellent job, thank you. Thank you. Now we're gonna see the next one, Ulysses. I need uh, some to wash my hands. I need some water to wash my hands. Very good. Repeat. I need some water to wash my hands. I need some water to wash my hands. To wash my hands, right? Because of the COVID, right? I need some water to wash my hands. Very good. Uh, Car uh, Carol, what's your question? Some eh, English siempre lo voy a usar igual, no tiene la variación de singular ni plural como en español o la forma apocopada de algún, alguna, algunos, algunas, siempre será son. I don't know what's apocopada. <laughs> no sé qué significa eso. Uh, <laughs> alguno, alguno y algún. No, in English is always some. Yes, that's thank why you. I love English because it doesn't make any change. Okay, thank you. So, very good. A poco tarea. That's humble for me. A poco pa. What is a poco pa? I'm going to look for on Google. Okay. A poco pa. Right, because I don't know that. Right, now we have there. Right, next one. Let's take a look at these examples. Right, Bernardo, can you read this example? I'd like some juice. I like some juice, very good, right? We know that this is juice. Is it countable or uncountable? Uncountable. It is uncountable, it's unspecified quantity. We, we don't know how much, we say some, some juice, right? Very good, right? What about this? Emerson, can you read this other one? I'd like a glass of juice. I'd like a glass of juice. I like a glass of juice. What about that? This is a specified quantity. I can say, oh, I want some coffee. Oh, I want a cup. That would be exactly only this, right? This is the specific quantity, specified quantity. Do you see the difference of some and the quantifier here, a glass of? Do you notice the difference? Yes? Yes, teacher. Yes? Okay, yes. very good. Now, let's continue. Look at that. I'm gonna continue here. Now, we're gonna make some examples right now, and this will be individually. Eugenia, can you please read, read the... There is some money. There is some money from Paris Hilton, okay? There is some money. Negative sentences, Alexander. Is there any money? Is there any money? Very good. I can say, there is some 
use in the refrigerator, right? But I want to make a negative sentence. I will say, oh, there isn't any juice in the refrigerator. So we're gonna put here, look at the chat, please. Look at the chat. Affirmative. There is some juice in the fridge. Right? Negative. There isn't any juice in the fridge. What is the new word? The new word is any. Any is used for negatives in questions. Is there any juice in the fridge? No. Is there any juice in the fridge? Yes, there is some, right? Do you see the use of any? Do you understand the use of any over there? No? Shall we make another example? Do you understand this? Yes or no? Be honest. Yes? Yes. Okay. Si no entienden, díganme. Porque si no, yo voy a decir, ah, se entendieron. Démosle, enseñémosle condicionales ahorita. Right? So, be careful. Right? Right, this is the possible answer. No, there isn't. Oh, there isn't any money. Short answer, as you know, or long answer, right? Now, look at this. Franco, oops, can you read the example? I need some time to study. Okay, what is the, what is the noun? I need some time to study. What is the noun? Yes, Joanna? Time. Time. Very good. Very good. Thank you, Joanna. Thank you, Eduardo. Very good. Right? The word time is the noun. Some time. Right? Some time. Let's go. What's the answer here, Imelda? Some or any? Is this sentence affirmative or negative? Uh -huh. Affirmative. It's affirmative. affirmative. Can I use can I use any with affirmative sentences? There no, is not some. No, we can't. Very good. We cannot use it. So what do we put? There is some some, some cheese. cheese. There is any cheese? Uh -uh. No, it's incorrect. No emagaña. Next example. Some, there are some horses in the field. There aren't some horses in the field. Okay, now, Noe, is this sentence affirmative or negative? It's negative. It's negative. Negative. Okay, can I use some with negative sentences? No. Um, no. No, any. we are going to use any. any. So the answer is any. There aren't any horses in the field, right? Any horses. Now, we're gonna stop right now. We're gonna make a stop, right? So, 
Let me ask you here right now. Well, let me call the attendance first, really quick. Vamos a pasar asistencia. Really, really quick. Eh, Carlos Vladimir Rodríguez. Present. Daisy Elizabeth Recinos Álvarez. Present, teacher. Eduardo Franco Núñez. Present. Elena Guadalupe Andrade Reyes. Elena. Present. Emerson Ulises Monroy Calix. Present, Miss. Francisco Sánchez López. Francisco. Imelda Xiomara Pineda Castro. I am here, teacher. Jacqueline Vanessa Parrilla García. Joana Lisbeth Eunice Alfaro de Canales. Miss, Present, uh, teacher. Eh, Mi microphone, please, turn it off. Thank you. Eh, Jose Alexander Hernández Carvajal. Present. Jose Bernardo López Montes. Present teacher. Carla Eugenia Hernández Sotelo. Present teacher. Carol Elizabeth Escalante Enríquez. Present. Luis Javier Castillo. Manuel Alfredo Hernández Ventura. Oscar Noé Magaña Martínez. Present teacher. Sara Digay López Portillo. Present teacher. Tatiana Ivón Torres Beltrán. Present teacher. Wendy Marlene Martínez Sánchez. Present. Yanira El Carmen Gutiérrez. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Okay, now, did I miss someone? No, right? Let us continue. Okay, now let me ask you something here. All right, and please pay attention. What is a noun? Tell me, what is a noun? I'm just making a concept check. What is a noun? Now, what is <laughs> what is a noun, Bernardo? We just said it at the beginning. It's the word with is it is the word that we use to name something or someone. Very good. Excellent job. Very good. Very good. That is a word that we use to name something or someone. Excellent, Bernardo. So what are the two types of nouns that we have seen today, Carol? There are two types of nouns. What are they? Nouns. Hmm? Nouns. Uh, my problem, the inter, the corta. Mucho cortado. Okay. Okay. But what are the two type of nouns that we have seen today, Carol? Nouns is singular and plural. Okay, okay, that's within the nouns. That's within the nouns. But we have like two big groups. Group one and group two. Uh, some, some. The group is some. Kind of. Singular is at, 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 and singular, some plural. Mm, no, not yet. No. What are the two types of nouns, Franco Nunez? Thank you, Caro. No tengo idea de lo que me está diciendo. <laughs> no tengo idea de lo que me está diciendo. No. Okay. We have nouns. Okay. Nouns. We're going to make this. Give me a moment, Wendy. Can you see my whiteboard? Yes. Uh, dogs. Give me, a moment. Give me a moment. We have here. Uh, dun, dun, dun. Nouns, right? We're going to put it here. 
And these nouns are divided in two sections, right? They divided in two, number one and number two. Wendy, what is one type of noun? Countable. Countable, very good. And what's the other one, Franco? Uncountable. Uncountable. Uncountable, right? So we got there, right? Countable, oops. Countable and uncountable. Thank you, Wendy, right? So we got it here. We're gonna make our boom, boom, boom. La, 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 la. We're gonna draw here something. Very good. So now, what have we learned about countable nouns? Jani, what is the definition of a countable noun? What is a countable noun? How would you say? Oh. It's, a, uh, uh, it's a countable, it's a, um, how do you say, uh, quantificar? Porque se puede contar. Okay, tell me in English. Uh, how do you say it? Uh, quantificar? <laughs> Count. Is that? Is a, a countable? Countable? Eh, is um, um, todo lo que, all, all, all countable. Todo lo que se puede contar. Okay. How do you say that? Ask for help. How do you Just say? Sample. Uh -huh. How do you say todo lo que se puede contar, Emerson? It's all the, be, to be count. All things we can count. Very good. Very good. So look at this. Jenny, right? So we go here. Everything that we can count, right? Everything that we can count. What about uncountable, Alexander? Uh, it's everything that we can't. Cold. Exactly. <laughs> Everything <laughs> that we can't count. So, Jani, quantificar, count. Right? Count. Okay. This is the word. Okay. Right? It's clear. Exactly. Very good. Right? So, we got it there. Right? Now, we have here and the other one. Now, what are the uh, words that we're going to use? examples or grammar examples. Here I can use, for example, the word a. What's the other one that I can use? And, and exactly, and? and. Any. Some. 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 Can I use some? Yes. Now, we have this, right? Remember, we have this, right? Ah, and in some. But we also know that this, this is what Carol mentioned at the beginning. Ah, and an, is it for plurals or singulars? Singular. Singular. Singulars, very good. Singulars, excellent. In some, is it for singulars or plurals? Plural. Plurals. 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 Very good. It's for plurals. Excellent job, right? Now we have our countable nouns. Let's go with uncountables. With uncountable nouns, right? Can I use a? Is it possible or no? No. no. What is the word that I use? In, in, in. We use some. Exactly. 
some. That's the word that we're gonna use, right? Some, because we cannot count it. So that will be for all uncountables. Right? For all uncountable, we use some. Now, if I want to make a negative sentence, which word do, do should I use? Any. 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 Very good. Any. Mm. Can I use any with countables? Yes, I can use it. So I'm going to put it here too. Right? Any. Now, if I use any, right? Any. What are the two options? Can I use any for affirmatives, Tatiana? Or for negatives? For negative. Negatives and? Question. Negatives and questions. Very good. Negative and question. Right? That's the use that I need. And that's the use I'm going to give here too. Right? Negative and questions. Remember that. This is what we're doing for today, right? Negative and question. Now, do you understand this part right now? Yes? Is this part clear? Yes, yes. teacher. Yes? Does anybody have a question about this? Do you have a question, guys? Girls, no questions? No, teacher, it's clear. It's clear, okay. So now that we have this, we have eight minutes. I would like you to help me right now. And we are going to go. Give me a moment. We're gonna do this exercise right now, really quick, right? We have five sentences there, right? And we are going to decide if we use some or any in those sentences, right? Look at them right now. You have three minutes to complete them and we're going to check right now the answers, right? Look at them. You can copy, you can... Yeah. Okay, we're gonna check in a moment, Carla. We're gonna check in a moment, right? <laughs> we're gonna check in a moment. You have three minutes. Mm -hmm. Do you finish? Yes. Does anybody have a question? So we can check now. Okay. One minute.
Okay, let's see. Vladimir, number one. There isn't any sugar in my coffee. Any sugar in my coffee. Is this correct, Carol? There isn't any sugar in my coffee. Is it correct or incorrect? It's correct. It's correct. Very good. Thank you, Vladimir. Correct. Thank you, Carol. Uh, Eduardo, number two. There are some orange in the fridge. In the fridge, oranges. Repeat, oranges. Oranges. Very good. There are some oranges in the fridge. Is this correct, Bernardo? Uh, yes, teacher. Yes, it is. Very good. Noe Magaña, number three. There aren't any tomatoes on the table. Very well. That is correct. You remember. That's good. Lisbeth, number four. There is some uh, oil in the kitchen. Some oil in the kitchen. Is this correct, Elena Guadalupe? Some oil. Not with us. Is this correct, Sarah Abigail? There is some oil in the kitchen. There is an orange juice. An oil? But we only have two options, some or any. Oh, and some. Some, exactly. It's correct. Very good. Thank you. And we go with the last one, hey, Johnny. There is some orange juice. There is some orange juice. Is this correct, Alexander? Yes. Very good, very good. So we're gonna save this document. Tomorrow, tomorrow, we're going to work with much and many, okay? Tomorrow we're gonna work with much and many and then they use of how much and how many. Today we're gonna stop there because we have a lot of information. Try to make your own examples. I right, please try to make your own examples. Every time that we have a grammar topic, write information and also check your example. If you don't do that, now I am sending to you right now class that we just had. Just like that. You have the class on your WhatsApp, right? The diagram that we made, and we have one minute. Any questions about today's class? No? No questions? Any question? No. Okay. If you don't have questions, tomorrow I will ask you questions. Okay? Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Thank you. So check the information that I just sent you, please. So you can check everything, all the grammar topic about nouns, countable and uncountables, and make your examples. It's important that you make your examples. Then I will stay only today with Mr. Carlos Vladimir Rodriguez Diaz. The other ones, bye bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye, Daisy. Bye, Wendy. Bye, teacher. Good night. Good night. Hi, Vladimir. I cannot hear you. Open your microphone. 
Abra su micrófono. Hello, teacher. Hi. How are you? Very good. Thank you for asking. Do you have questions about today's class? No, I don't sesión? have questions. You don't have no. questions. Esta no, sesión puede ser preguntas de la clase en español. Si usted gusta, no hay problema. No, sí, no, pero hasta ahorita lo que nos está enseñando, sí, está bien. Eh, eh, voy entendiéndole, es eh, incomprensible. Nada más que hay, quizá hay como palabras que me cuesta a la hora de formular la, la conversación. Entonces, pienso que en la forma que usted nos va a llevar ahorita, que solo nos va a exigir un poco más de inglés, hay que acomodarnos y hay que buscar... Eh, las palabras, pues porque de eso se trata el aprender inglés si seguimos hablando de español nos va a costar un poco más después exacto, very good, se ya entendió les acabo de enviar a su whatsapp les okay. envié cuatro diccionarios sí ajá, eso estaba viendo ¿no? tres diccionarios de imágenes y uno de que es eh, digital para cuando estemos en la clase y no sepamos algo ahí lo buscamos rapidito Okay. Para ir dos, ahorita, dos que ve. Va, perfecto. Busque también, por ejemplo, digamos, usted no sabe la palabra notebook, por decir algo. Ajá, si usted sí. sabe qué significa la palabra notebook en la clase, lo que va a hacer es anotarla y haga ejemplos con esa palabra. Porque si Dale, solo okay. dice, ah, notebook, me voy a acordar. No se va a acordar, es mentira. Así es. Así okay. es. Hay que practicarlo y hay que repasarlo. Oh, ah, claro. Hay que repasarlo y hay que aprenderlo. O sea, para que se le grabe a uno, hay que escribirlo y hay que repasarlo. Exacto. That claro. is fine. <ríe> de eso se trata, okay. correcto. Entonces, si no tiene ninguna otra pregunta, usted me dice. No, no, está todo claro. Hasta el momento está claro. Y en su momento, si surge alguna duda, pues en la clase, si lo permite, ahí se la voy a, la voy a hacer. Claro que sí. Siempre va a ser permitido. Para la clase, Claro, hasta ahorita lo de la clase está, está bien porque básicamente es como un repaso de lo que hemos visto en los otros tres módulos. En los tres módulos, exacto. Ah, y hay sí, de ustedes sí. para repasar y, y, y fortalecer lo que ya saben. Claro, así es, definitivamente. <risa> Muchas gracias hoy. Gracias a usted. Thank you, Thank you so much, Vladimir. Have a beautiful night. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. bye.